Okay, today we're going to be changing the transmission fluid in this 2007 Honda Ridgeline. Um, we're going to use Honda Genuine Oil. Um, it's automatic transmission fluid, ATF, DW1. Um, I'll leave the link in the description to get it on Amazon. First thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen the fill plug. Uh, we always loosen the fill plug first because if you, can't, if you drain your oil out and you can't get your fill plug out, you're kind of screwed. So we're going to loosen the fill plug. Uh, it's a 17 millimeter. It's located below the brake booster, below the master cylinder. I don't know if you can see it there. It's right here. Hope you can't really see it right there. We'll get that loose and I'll bring you back in. Okay, I got the fill plug loose. It was really tight. I had to use this big breaker bar and a bunch of extensions. Make sure you use a six point socket. Probably won't focus, but not a 12 point. Um, I believe the plug is just some sort of aluminum. And if you use a 12 point like this, you got a good possibility that you're gonna strip it. So make sure you use a six point socket. And I don't know what the torque spec is, but I know that was way too tight. Okay, now we're gonna drain the transmission fluid. Right here is the drain plug. Um, I'm on the front driver's side of the transmission, towards the front. Um, we're gonna loosen that. I believe you just need a 3 8 ratchet. I think it just, the square end of it just fits right in there. Um, I'm gonna take it out and then I'll bring it back in. All right, I got the drain plug out. Um, as you can see, it's got some metal shavings on it, but um, this does have 200,000 miles on it, so I don't think that's too bad. Uh, I'll clean up all the metal off of it, and I'll put it back in. Okay, the drain plug's back in. Um, I torqued it to 33 foot-pounds. That's what I found. Uh, I'm not sure if that's correct. Do your own research. Somebody comment down below if it's not right or if it is right. Um, now I'm going to fill it with transmission fluid. I believe it takes 3.2 quarts. I'm going to put 3.2 in, run it through all the gears, shut the engine off, and then check it. And I'll bring you back in. Okay, I ended up using uh, all four quarts of uh, transmission fluid. Um, I put in 3.2, checked it, uh, ran it, ran it through all the gears, put it in park, shut the engine off, and it wasn't even on the dipstick while well, it was barely on the bottom. So then I put about another, I don't know, half a cord in and checked it again and it was close but it was still a little bit low so I just poured the rest of it in. Uh, now I'm going to take it for a ride. When I bring it back I'll check it. Hopefully I don't need any more because I put all four quarts in, that's what I ordered. Um, I'll bring it back after the ride when I check it to see if that was good. Okay, I took it for a ride. Uh, I got it warm, I checked the fluid, uh, the level's perfect, so four quarts of oil. Um, one thing I didn't mention was uh, make sure you take it for a ride before you do this. Get, get the transmission fluid warm, that way it drains out better. Um, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, comment down below. If I did anything wrong, comment and let me know. Um, or if you liked the video, leave me a comment. Um, thanks for watching again, like and subscribe.